Hello, my name is Dan Washko, and today on Linux in the Shell, episode 32, we're going to talk about the cat command. Before I start, I'd like to thank Hacker Public Radio for hosting the website and the audio files, and I remind you, if you have not already le checked out the website or listened to the audio file, do so at your earliest convenience, because this only shows examples of using the cat command. All right, cat, file name. It outputs the file. Very basic. But there's some cool things you can do with cat. With some switches and also through redirection. That makes it a little more versatile than just showing the output of a file. For instance, cat, cat test right there. I could go back to that. I can do the dash n switch, which numbers each line of output. That could be very handy. Um, I could skip blank lines in my numbering and only suppress blank line numbering. By doing that, you see that only lines with characters in there get numbered. I can also squeeze out blank lines with the dash S. So it'll still retain a single blank line, but where there's double or more than one blank line, it'll only retain the first one and squeeze out the rest. So if I go back and combine these two, you see that I can uh, do a numbering like that. I can show tab characters, cat with a capital T, cat test and you see those right there now let me show you something interesting because this may throw somebody watch this let's go back into this file and I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to say tab here is another tab tab here is another tab 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 again done just throwing some text in there now Let's do this, cat, cat, cat test. You see that that's there, the tabs. And you might say, okay, where are the tabs? I'll tell you why they're not there. And this is something to be aware of. I have VI or Vim set up to use spaces instead of tabs. So it puts in a certain number of spaces instead of tabs. So just be aware of that. So it's not actually throwing tab characters in there. So characters huh let's talk about special characters I can look at special characters by using the V for show non printing characters and when I do that you don't see any but I can put some in there with the Vim command by saying okay control M control V here is a non printing character Control M, Control V. Whoops. And if I do cat, cat test, I don't see those in there. But now if I go back and do cat V, I see the control character that I put in there, right there. Really kind of funky character. Uh, I think I did that correctly there. Well, that's an example showing. Um, control characters right there. What else do we have? We have aggregate commands. Cat. What I can do. Um, e. Oh, I didn't show you show ends. Capital E is show ends. Cat test. And it shows ends of all the ends of the files by putting a dollar sign. Now, I can do cat E, lowercase, which is an aggregate of E, capital E, and V. So what I actually get is just the same thing as capital E, V and capital E, same thing right there. With lowercase t, I get the same thing as V and capital T right there. And then there's dash A. Whoop. What did I do wrong? Oh, sorry. Dash capital A, which shows you all, which is the same as V. T and E right there. Same thing. So that's pretty cool. Now, I talked about redirection. Uh, if I just typed in cat right there, everything I type in on the command line is going to be echoed out when I hit the enter key. And I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I hit control C. But this is what I learned from Linux from scratch. Let's see. Uh, let's do a cat. Linux, Linux from scratch.txt. There's no such file, but if I did cat, 
LFS, because I'm redirecting everything in the cat to LFX TXT. And when I, until I hit an end of file, I can do here is some text. Check it out. Cat command is a basic text editor. Now if I do cat LFS, there it is. Isn't that cool? Really cool stuff. I can actually do LFS grep cat, and it'll show me just that line with cat in there. So the cat command, very basic, but very versatile. You can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Even make yourself a handy-dandy text editor. My name is Dan Washko. This has been Linux in the Shell, episode 32, the cat command. Thank you for listening.